What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Three Dollars Down. Did you guys play many Sonic games growing up? Sonic the Hedgehog games? Did you guys play many of those? I was a really, really big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog just in in general when I was a kid, man. I, I liked watching um, the TV show Sonic X. I even had a little Sonic com uh, comic book I found at the library. I still have that book. I never returned it to the library, dude. I still have it somewhere in here. I think it's in the basement or some nonsense. I played so many Sonic games, man. Jesus Christ. I think I think the first Sonic game I played was, um, I think it was Sonic in the Secret Rings for the Wii, Sonic and the Secret Rings. There were a whole bunch of those. Well, maybe not a whole bunch, but there was a maybe like two or three of those uh, Sonic games where it was centered around like fairy tale books, if that makes sense. Like Sonic and the Secret Rings um took place in like the Arabian Nights or whatever. And then they also had another one where it was like Sonic and the Black Knight, which took place in like um like Camelot and um King Arthur and and the Knights of the Round Table and all that nonsense, dude. They were pretty fun games. They were pretty fun games. I don't know how they were. Um, I don't know if they were like critically acclaimed or some nonsense. But I mean, I, I remember having a pretty good time with them, dude. Sonic and the Secret Rings was the first one I played. It was a very fun game, but I found myself getting stuck on it. Like I, I don't remember when it came out, but I mean, I was like a kid, dude. Like a like a kid, kid. Really, really, really still learning the ins and out of playing video games. And I got stuck on it because I didn't I didn't understand the concept that you had to go around every single world in that game, every single stage in that game and collect the secret rings. You had to collect the secret rings. So I was just playing through them and skipping levels that you had to complete in order to obtain the cer the secret rings to actually end the game. So you needed all of the secret rings to beat the game, dude. You needed them all, and I couldn't understand that. I'm like, is, is that it? Is that it? I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I didn't, I didn't like fathom the concept of googling stuff back then you know what i mean if i couldn't figure anything out i would go ask my dad if he knew what to do or my mom if they knew if they knew what to do and of course they didn't why would they do they don't care about sonic or anything so i'm just sitting there i'm stumped i'm stumped and i just put the game on the back burner i just completely forget about the game dude completely forget about it but i'm still a big fan of sonic and the next game i played was sonic and the black knight i played sonic and the black knight dude really fun game it was really it was quite the um the jump from playing uh sonic and the secret rings because you know sonic actually had a sword in this game and you could swing it around it was awesome man i really liked that game it was very short though very short i didn't struggle with um, Sonic and the Black Knight like I did with Sonic and the Secret Rings. The only part I struggled in the Black Knight was the very final boss. The very, very last boss. The uh, the big, like, wizard, knight, multi-arm creature, deity, monster, garbage. That thing was demolishing my soul. That was the only part I remember actually giving me a very, very hard time back then. That very last boss fight... Um, I forget what it was called. I forget the name of that boss, but it was like the big, big wizard looking knight thing. Very cool looking boss. And the, the fight music is awesome. That's one thing about those games. The music in them. Oh my God. It's sublime, dude. Sonic and the Secret Rings also had a very, very, very good, um, soundtrack. Sonic and the Black Knight. Worse soundtrack than Sonic and the Secret Rings, but the last boss fight soundtrack. I think it was... What was it called, dude? Ugh. Face this day with me or some nonsense with me. I think it was just called with me. Um, that song. Oh my god! I remember. I remember constantly replaying that fight just so I could listen to that song. That song was that good, dude. It's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. It's not in my playlist or anything. But I mean, like, if I ever, if I'm ever in the in the mood to listen to that song, I always go and listen to it in the on the Sega Spotify nonsense. That's where they got it. It's a really good song, dude. Really fun game, though. I enjoyed overall. I enjoyed Black Knight better than Sonic and the Secret Rings, but that was just because I got so stumped on Sonic and the Secret Rings. I just couldn't. I couldn't fathom what to do. 
And in between those games, I also had a PSP and I had a few Sonic PSP games that I, I just can't remember. I can't remember. I can vaguely describe what they were about, but I don't remember the name of them. Like one of them, it was kind of like a racing Sonic game, but it was like a side scroller. You weren't in like a cart or anything. You were just like racing against the NPC, the AI, um, to get to the end of the level. You were playing as Sonic. I don't remember what that game was called, but it was pretty fun. It was for the PSP. I don't remember what it was called, though. Oh, man. I don't remember ever beating that game, though. I don't remember ever beating it. I think it was pretty hard for me. It was pretty fun, but I think I got stuck, and I just sort of forgot about it. I think I just sort of quit that game. I don't remember what it was called, but... um. I just remember you would like race other characters to the end of the stage. And that was like the whole, the whole gameplay loop of that game. I'm pretty sure. I think if I'm remembering correctly. And then we got to probably my favorite Sonic game. All those years later, we got to Sonic Unleashed, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Now this is where, this is where my, my, adoration for sonic was absolutely at its peak sonic unleashed man oh my god i really like sonic unleashed they had two versions of it they had one for the wii and then like well i guess three you had it for like the xbox and the playstation or whatever but the first version i played was for the wii which is like a, it's almost like a completely different game compared to the xbox and playstation version dude it's insane how different it, how different it was but the very first first version I played was for the Wii, where you had to, when, when you were in your werewolf form or whatever, you had to use the Wii remote and the nunchuck to attack, which was uh, a little annoying because it felt so inconsistent sometimes, but that's just the way it was, dude. The final boss fight was terrible in the Wii version. Very, very terrible. Like, when you play the Wii version of Sonic Unleashed, then go play the Xbox or PlayStation version, you will see what I mean. It is like night and day. It's like two completely different games. The Wii version is so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. It's not unplayable or anything, but like just compared to the Xbox version or the PlayStation version, they're, they're pretty much the same thing. Xbox, PlayStation, there's just different buttons, button prompts and whatnot. So I'm just going to refer to it as the Xbox version. But like you go from the Wii version to the Xbox version. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. They, like don't even bother playing sonic unleashed if it's not on the xbox or whatever dude just don't even bother the xbox version is so much better all the levels are better the final boss fight is better all the bosses are better in the on the xbox ver uh, xbox version dude like i don't even know if you could perform combos on the wii version i think you had like maybe maybe like one or two combos but in the xbox uh version you had a whole a whole list of combos you could do as the werewolf, dude. It was insane. It was ridiculous. And then Sonic Unleashed had the absolute best Sonic song ever created. Endless possibilities. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. The absolute best Sonic song in any Sonic game. Hands down. Endless possibilities. Really good. Plus it had that kick-ass intro. The uh, the whole animated intro, dude. That like, what 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 more do you need? What more do you need? That is still to this day my absolute favorite Sonic game. Really good game, Sonic Unleashed, the Xbox version. The Wii version wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. Like if if you never played the Xbox version before and you just you were just aware of the Wii version, you'd probably be satisfied with it. But like, why bother, dude? Why bother? Just play the Xbox version. Jesus Christ. See, I skipped Sonic Colors. I never played Sonic Colors. I always watched playthroughs and gameplay of Sonic Colors on YouTube, but I never played it myself. I always wanted it. I always asked for it for like a birthday gift or whatever. Sorry about that, but um, I never got it. I never got it and I never ended up playing it. But it always looked pretty fun. I always wanted to try it, dude. I did, but um... I never played Sonic Colors. Sonic 06, though, or I guess Sonic the Hedgehog. We're just going to call it Sonic 06. I played Sonic 06 after Sonic Unleashed. I was at GameStop. I was at GameStop, and I was just browsing what they had, and I saw, whoa, 
Is that another Sonic game? I've never heard of this. Sonic the Hedgehog? Whoa, you can play a Shadow? Whoa, I want this game. I bought that game. I played that game. I kind of liked that game. I kind of liked it. Now, if you're familiar with Sonic games, you know Sonic 06 is proclaimed to be one of the worst Sonic games ever created. But I I didn't have that bad of a time with it, dude. I enjoyed it, kind of. I Like, it wasn't too bad. Now, the amount of bugs, the amount of glitches that just plagued that game were so abundant, so so nauseating to deal with it was it was just too much at sometimes dude but i mean if you could get past that and though it's very hard to do so if you could get past the bugs and whatnot dude the glitches and the terrible animation <laughs> and if you could get past that it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad i remember getting stuck on a certain part of the on a certain part of that game, I'm pretty sure it was like pretty early in the game too. You were playing as Sonic. And when you play as Sonic, there's these certain types of missions where Sonic automatically runs straight ahead. You can't stop him from running. He always runs straight ahead, but you can steer him like left and right and you can make him jump and whatnot. These were like special types of missions that he would just keep running straight ahead. You had to avoid damage you had to avoid obstacles to make sure he didn't stop running because you had to make it to the end of the stage or whatever the very first instance of that mission of that type of mission i got stuck on that for days i'm not joking days it was so hard so hard looking back on it now it, it doesn't look like it would be that hard dude but my my tiny little feeble brain dude just could not comprehend what was going on? I was like, what is this nonsense? And it, it was it was really disheartening, too, because I really, really wanted to play that game and, like, continue playing it. I didn't want to stop it, but it was getting harder and harder for me to, to, to make myself keep playing this game and keep trying to beat this level. But I just kept trying, and I kept trying and trying, and eventually I did get it. I did get it, and I was able to progress with the game, but Jesus Christ, dude. And that wasn't the only instance of that type of mission. I'm pretty sure it happened a few more times, but I don't remember any other, any other types of those missions giving me too hard of a time. It was just that very first mission. I think that very first mission conditioned me and trained me enough to prepare me for any other instance of that mission popping up. So I think when the other ones came to be, I had trained so hard on that very first mission that it, the other ones weren't that bad. You know what I mean? But Jesus Christ, dude, the very first instance of that mission was brutal, like br brutal than brutal, dude. It was ridiculous how hard it was for me. Jesus Christ. But I was so happy when I cleared it, I could finally progress with the game, dude. I really enjoyed that game. Well, I not really enjoyed it, but I enjoyed playing as like the other characters. You could play as quite a few characters in that game, dude. I'm pretty sure you could play as... You could play as Tails, too. I, I think you could play as Knuckles as well. Rouge the Bat, Silver, Shadow, and, of course, Sonic, dude. Like, you could play as a whole bunch of characters. And um, the final boss fight is pretty forgettable. Like, still, I like, I'm sitting here trying to remember what it was. Solaris, I think, is what it was called. It was just some, like, weird like just thing i don't i don't even remember what it looks like i think that was its name though solaris um like i really can't remember that boss or why he was doing what he was doing it was a pretty forgettable enemy he looked really dumb too um it was just like a dark it was like if some fan some fan just made like an evil version of sonic if it was like some fan art or some nonsense that's what he looked like that is what he looked like. That is the best description of that character. If some fan just made an evil version of Sonic, that's what he would be. He, he looked so bad. <laughs> he looked so bad. Now, I will say the music in that game was really good. His world, that was like the main, the main theme song. Well, I guess maybe Sonic's theme song, whatever. It was pretty good. Definitely not even close to endless possibilities. But, I mean, his world, uh, that song, like, gave that point gave that game a few more points from me 
that song from that song alone dude that song is pretty good it's pretty good but overall that game it's a it's a mixed bag for me dude there's a lot of there's a lot of bad in that game but i mean there's there's a few goods there's a few goods it's, it's not too bad i remember playing that game when i got sick i got sick really badly and i stayed home a whole bunch and i remember just sitting at home and playing that game that's Whenever I get sick, I get memories towards that game. I remember sitting at home, tucked in the covers, playing um, playing with my TV across the room, dude. I got Sonic 06 blaring, blaring. The whole house can hear it because I could barely hear it because it's so far away from me. <laughs> really fun game, dude. Really fun game if you could get past the, uh, the litany of bullshit. Jesus Christ. What's next, dudes? Oh, I think, I think that was when my... my like my love of Sonic was starting to decline, you know what I mean? I will st- I would still consider myself a fan of Sonic, but I wasn't like too into it anymore. I was starting to lose interest. And I think the last Sonic game I played was Sonic Generations. Sonic Generations, dude. Good game. Really really good game. I really love Sonic Generations. I got it as a Christmas gift, dude. As a Christmas gift. Really, really, really fun game. I went through and played that game again pretty recently. I think like last year I played through um, Sonic Generations again. I beat it in one in one stream session. It was shorter than I remember, um, but still really fun. Really fun game, dude. I had so much fun when I uh, when I first got that game. It was insane, man. So much fun. Um, I don't remember struggling too much on any on on anything in that game to be honest the game is pretty easy i'm trying to think of a boss i struggled in oh none none to be honest maybe the final boss maybe but that's just because his fight is a little confusing the first go around dude but um other than that i don't think so i just didn't know what to do in the final boss it wasn't like he wasn't particularly difficult or anything. It just wasn't explained too well what to do, to be honest. If I remember correctly, I think that was the issue I was having. I just didn't know what to do in that fight. I think that's what was going on. I didn't know what was going on, pretty much. But other than that, dude, Sonic Generations, it's it's up there. I still Sonic Unleash is still my favorite, my absolute favorite Sonic game, but I would probably put Sonic Generations right underneath. Sonic Unleashed, dude. Really, really solid game. It's just it's just a good game. Overall, just a very solid video game, dude. You get to play as classic Sonic, modern Sonic, all the levels are well made, well well colorized, dude. The soundtrack is awesome. What is there to not like? I don't understand, dude. It's like a trip down memory lane as well to going through all the Sonic games and whatnot, dude. Plus Plus, they had levels from Sonic Generations in there. And since I didn't, I mean, not not Sonic Generations, Sonic Colors. They had levels from Sonic Colors in there. So since I didn't play Sonic Colors, I felt like, oh, wow, I get to play a little bit of Sonic Colors, essentially, dude. It, whoa, this is what it was like to play Sonic Colors. This is awesome. Th- that's how I felt when I was playing that game, playing through the levels of other Sonic games. I wasn't able to play like the really old ones. And then Sonic Colors and stuff like that, dude. That really, that really sold it for me. Really fun game, dude. Really fun game. And I got it as a Christmas gift. Jesus Christ, dude. I mean, what what more do I need? What more do I need? But that was, I'm pretty sure, the very last Sonic game I played. I have not played a Sonic game since Sonic Generations. I know there's been... There's been a few that have come out. That, like, there hasn't been too many Sonic games pumping out recently. I think that was like Sonic Lost Worlds, um, that Sonic, what, what Sonic Forces or some nonsense, dude. Um, oh yeah, that Sonic Boom one. I remember that Sonic Boom. They made a whole TV show out of that, dude. I remember that the Sonic Boom show, man. I never, I don't really know too much about that game. I just know it exists. I think they made a sequel about that. I don't. I have no clue what that game was about though. And now I'm pretty sure they're making a new one. I think they teased it at the uh, at the Game Awards. I don't know what it was called or anything. I don't know if they announced the name of it. 
they might have. It might just be called Sonic the Hedgehog or some nonsense. I don't know, dude. But I know they are making a new one. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows? I might might check it out. I might check it out, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was a trip down. That was a trip down memory lane, dude. So many Sonic games. So many Sonic games. Dude, my childhood is filled with a, a load of uh, pretty solid memories of uh, video games and whatnot, dude. I could make a whole podcast just discussing all the... All the video games I played as a kid and, and just take a trip down memory lane. I swear to God, man. But I think that's going to do it for me today. I've gone on long enough about Sonic the Hedgehog. Jesus Christ. But if you're looking for a Sonic game to play, play Sonic Unleashed if you've never played it before, dude. The Xbox version. Don't play the Wii version. Don't, just stay away from the Wii version. Play the Xbox version or the PlayStation version or whatever you want. Or... Play Sonic in the Black Knight or Sonic in the Secret Rings. I'd probably suggest Sonic in the Black Knight. That's my favorite of the of the two. Sonic in the Black Knight. Um, so just because Sonic in the Secret Rings was so hard <laughs> for me, for me, since I got stuck on it, I didn't get stuck on Sonic in the Black Knight. Good lord, dude! I gotta play through it again and just breeze through it. Jesus Christ! I breeze through the my other playthrough of Sonic Generations. I could probably breeze through. Sonic in the Secret Rings and Sonic in the Black Knight again. I remember Sonic in the Black Knight being being very, very short. Very short. So who knows, man? Good Lord. But that's going to do it for me today. Enough, enough babbling. But before we go, we must recommend a song. We must. And the song we're going to recommend on this fine, glorious day is... It is... Actually, it's not this. It's this. It is called Ante- An- Antebellum by the Human Abstract, dude. Good God. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Antebellum. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. By the Human Abstract, dude. That is an absolute banger. An absolute bop of a song. That is a powerful song. An in- in- incredibly powerful song, dude. It's ridiculous. Jesus Christ. That's a good song right there. Antebellum by the Human Abstract. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to follow this podcast if you have the ability to do so. And like this video when it is up on YouTube. And if you want, send in a voice clip using the link provided in the description of this episode or any uh, on any podcast listening uh whatever service you're using you'll find a link that'll take you to anchor's website and you can send in a voice clip using your microphone using your phone whatever you got dude you can send in a question you can send in a topic you want me to discuss you can just say hi if you want dude send in a clip but all i ask is that it is safe to have on the podcast thank you very much for listening and i will see you all later Goodbye.